people, welcome back to another video. In this one, I've got a um, a game that I've really been liking recently. Um, it's Blacklands on Roblox, and uh, personally, I reckon it's one of the best like Rust slash Daisy slash Tarkov games on Roblox. The only one that rivals it that I know of uh, has to be um, Experiment Z, but. Um, so this is like the opening page, obviously. It has some very loud opening music, which I am going to turn off for now. But, um, so what we've got is, obviously, the server. We've got who's in the server. Now, this will stay on your screen throughout the whole time when you're playing. And so will this. But you can, uh, you can take them away easily with these little arrows here. You can just take them off your screen and, um, you're pretty much immersed then. So... They have a battle royale mode in and a survival mode. Um, I've never played the battle royale mode because no one ever joins it. And it's like dead. It's dead. No one plays it. So it's all in the survival, which we're going to go into. You just click on it and it loads you in here to this little um, lobby thing where all the fresh spawns that keep getting shot by the gear guys that decide to kill fresh spawns. Chill. So to enter your loadout, you press E. And it'll take you here. This is in the lobby. So in here you can actually buy with credits you get from leveling up. And um, purchasing. I've already spent most of like the credit, my credits. Like these are only recent levels that I've gotten these credits from. But uh, yeah, so you can purchase items to spawn in with. I don't do this because I think it's much more fun just gaining the items without having to buy them. But um, you can just purchase like hats, you know, face masks uh like shirts hoodies pretty much and uh vests and backpacks which are probably the most two those are probably the two most uh important ones that you could buy but um apart from that uh not much else in the lobby uh except the helicopter which takes you into the um the uh the map and the five uh spawn locations uh, Concord, Sanford, Trenton, Lexington, uh, and there's a couple more, I think, that you just can't choose here, but, um, yeah, these are the main ones, uh, the main two, like, towns or cities, uh, Sanford and, uh, Trenton, uh, the outskirts ones are Concord and Lexington, and there's other ones in here, like, uh, Topads and a few others that, just don't, you can't spawn in right here. So I'm going to actually turn my um, sound back on so you guys can hear and I can hear what's going on. Alright, so we're going to go to, I don't know, we'll go random, we'll go random. We'll see where we get spawned. It is night time and we are at the crossing between Sanford and the warehouses it takes a little bit for the um just for your character to kind of like load in the graphics and kind of get yourself situated there's a guy down there there's a humvee right here so someone's obviously pulled up here uh, i'm gonna go loot this humvee maybe it has something in it maybe it doesn't we'll see we'll see but, um, yeah, so, with Blacklands, I really enjoy this game a lot, to the point where I'm thinking about doing, like, proper projects on it. So, you can build in Blacklands, and, like, make bases and stuff. But, I rarely do it, I rarely decide to do that. I normally just run around the map, kind of, just picking off, kind of like a nomad. Just drifting between places, getting ammo and stuff, and then fighting people, and getting their stuff, then just kind of drifting around. But, you can build bases and set up, like, um you know, outposts and stuff for yourself and places, but, um, the thing is, with, like, the servers on Blacklands, it's still in beta, like, Blacklands is still in beta, it's not, like, um, completely released yet, and the only thing that it lacks is, um, the ability to, like, load back into servers that you've been on, and have your stuff saved, there's a guy in here. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Lucky, 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 lucky. Alright. 
He had some other good stuff. Shit. That could have ended way worse. Oh, bro. I am low. Uh, the screen fogs up when you get, like, really low. Like it is now. And I'm sorry about the quality, guys. I've uh, probably, like, stressed it in past videos, probably with the Experiment Z gameplay, um, that I'm using Streamlabs OBS, and with my laptop, it just doesn't run as smooth as what I would want it to, but it does It does pick up the um, footage okay, so I'm not, too, I'm not too mad about it. I mean, it's just free, free software I'm using to create my videos and stuff, and they come off okay, so I'm not too mad about it. Okay, so we got a red shirt. We got some sunnies. We're, we're feeling spick spec. Okay, so with the gear that we've just um, found, we're going to run to the second, I'd say the second most active city on the map that you can find is Trenton. Uh, we're going to run up here, try and loot up a bit more. And depending on what happens, we either might head to Avalon or we'll head back down to Sanfler and to Jasper and back to Ajax. This I think. There are really gear guys dead right there. Alright. There's another dude right here. Alright. Well, these guys have obviously been to a military base. And that is a military set up on the top of that roof and I'm not at full health yet either so I'm not too keen no alright well I'm gonna run away from that one for now I'm gonna go loot these houses further down in Trenton and um hopefully get some bandages or med kit or something to heal myself yeah so what I want to start doing are like normal videos like of this, of like uh, Blacklands, where I, you know, commentate and play the game. I'd also like to make uh, like videos, like a lot more cinematic videos, either on uh, Blacklands or on Experiment Z. Oh, I really want a backpack now. I kind of want that backpack from that dude. That was dead in the middle of the road. Yeah, I want to do like more cinematic um, videos, more of like JLK. If you don't know, like um, DayZ YouTubers. Um, oh my god, this is actually really, really good. But oh, if I had a backpack, it'd be so much better. I'm just going to go run over there. I don't think it'll actually be on the body of the backpack now when I think about it. No, it's not. There's actually so many good guns and weaponry that I could be taking right now, but I just don't have the um, storage to take it. Which is really pissing me off, because all I need is a backpack and I'd be able to take um, either a Mosin or some other like sniper down into Semfer, where I'd be able to properly use it. I don't know where this guy went. Alright. I think those guys are fighting back in Samf. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, and by the way, those, um, sirens, those are to indicate the gas, because there is like a, um, like a gas field that'll, that will appear in like random spots of the map. It's not that harmful, it won't kill you most of the time unless you're really, really shit, and, uh, can't, like, use your legs to run away. 
And if and if that's the case, that's all right. You know, some people are a bit dumbfounded nowadays, but you know, it is what it is. But all you need to do is just run out of it, and you'll be fine. Oh, speaking of the fucking devil, she's right here. So are those dudes from earlier. Why did I just hop out the window? I didn't mean to do that. Alright, well I'd say they'd be going back to Avalon. So the military field up here. And for me, what am I going to do? I need to run into Pretty a close. bit of PvP, kill a dude with a backpack. Alright. I need dude with backpack now. To walk in my line of sight so I can just blast his head off. You see, it's actually quite dangerous with the render distance that I've got now running around Senf. Maybe not, maybe not from here. That might actually help it a little bit more. Alright, at the moment I'm just searching for a backpack or something. Oh yeah, and also if you ever wanted to build in this game, just press B and it'll bring up the building menu and you've got... You've got a crate, you've got a double crate, you've got a metal crate, a double metal crate, and then a bunch of building like items, fire pits, barricades, barrels, and then barbed fences. Okay, this is getting kind of, should I say, boring. Boring in a way of where the fuck are, is the PvP? I might grab some sort of block. Just kind of give you the rundown on how to build and stuff. Well, how about this? I'll barricade up this house just for just for a demonstration of how to build. Yeah, so toggle between builds, E and Q. To rotate, you press R. And to build, you press T. Alright, I'm not going to be using this house, I'm just barricading it to piss people off. So there we go, now that that's barricaded, no one will be able to walk up that. Except for me, because I'll be able to move it. Someone could definitely still jump across from that, so I'll do this. Boom, done. Now if I wanted to do it in here, all that I'd do is I'd block that off. Boom, and then once you've done that, that's pretty much just the house done. Like this, this like whole top half, this is all you'll need. Like if you ever wanted to have a base anywhere, just build to the top of that, make a bunch and a bunch of like roadblocks all the way down, like through the staircase and down here. So if you, like anyone ever um, like tried to break in, they'd have to like shoot it a bunch of times. As well as that, you'd have to put a... Um, like roadblocks on all of these windows in fact i'm going to do this just to kind of attract um players that might think oh wait someone's building so let's like go and raid him or some shit so i'll just put barricades on every window kind of like to signify stay out we don't want you i'm out of stone so i can't do any more of that but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what base building is, for the most part. It's just barricading up a certain spot and putting crates in here and then barricading it back up. I might do this actually in a base, either in this video or another one. Because this video is just like kind of me taking you through how to go through about the controls and stuff. and It's pretty simple. I figured it out almost straight away and that's why I've probably been so addicted to this game is because of how easy it is to play get gear lose the gear but then get it back and it's no stress it's not like Daisy where you spend ages and ages getting something all to lose it yeah it makes the game more fun doing that but at the same time it can piss you off like I still love Daisy for the fact of that but it's good to just like kind of kick back oh fuck I've lost my stuff doesn't matter I'll just run back around for 20 minutes and then I'll have you know, the best loot in the server, pretty much. This dude has a backpack on him. 
please be in his inventory. Yes, okay, and the police vest. Unreal. Okay, we're moving up now. Now we're going into Jasper. This. All right, I'm going to quickly check the houses at the start of Jasper, just in case there are any guns in here that I could use. But as soon as I've hopped into this building, someone's pulling up in Jasper by the sounds of it. Nice. Alright, cool. Now we've got an assault rifle and a semi-automatic, so I'm not too stressed about weaponry now. Which gives me the confidence to now head to Ajax down here, the military checkpoint. And then after that, we'll see what's happening then. Oh, there's a dude over there. Oh. Okay, he must have been quite low from a previous fight. Alright, to Ajax, and another thing if you haven't noticed that you've got your um, kill kill streak up in the top right, that just keeps count of like how many kills you've gotten during this life, what is going on here, what, alright, nice, someone's in here. Alright, nice. So this guy's just been at Ajax, I think. Be judging from his ballistic vest and his MREs. Alright. I can tell that there's people fighting right over this hill. Alright, there is someone right here. Alright, it has to be at this house over here. We're just gonna run into this house. Hope for the best. Oh, well, I'd say that he's coming and finished the fight if he's driving off. Yeah. Shit, there's bodies. There are bodies. I think I'm just going to head to Ajax. Heading right here. I didn't see that on the hill before, but there doesn't seem to be anyone coming from it. This is Ajax, right here. And someone has boarded up the front. Alright, first barrack, let's hope for a backpack, tactical backpack, and um, the military clothing. Yeah, you got to go with something with 5.56, so I'll have to take a M4 or something else that takes 5.56. Alright, gas mask, I'll, I'll just take it so I don't have to worry about the gas later on. I'll take that for now.
How many people are on the server? Oh, there's hardly anyone left on the server. That's why it's so inactive. Um, so we'll loot up here, and then I think I'll finish the episode. Yeah, so I think I'll end the video pretty soon, and then I'll rest I'll do a part two on a different server, one that's more active. I don't need anything from in here. I'd say the next video that you'll be seeing from me will probably be a PUBG video. I'd say. If not, it will be this one, but chances are it will be a PUBG video. Because this might take a little bit longer to um, edit because I'm using a new software. It might take me a bit bit longer to get used to, but um, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. So this has been episode one of Blacklands. Whenever this goes out, there'll definitely be an episode two coming right after it. So don't worry uh, for the next episode because it will be soon. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in another one.